Would an extra 50k per year change your life? For most engineers, that's the jump from mid-level to senior. And there's one skill that can help you get there faster than anything else. Master it, and you will stand out as the person who can spot and fix problems that cost companies thousands every month. Do that, and you're not just writing SQL or building pipelines. You're saving the business and making yourself promotion material. And in the next few minutes, I'm teaching you big O notation the data engineering way and show you exactly how mastering it will change the course of your career. Picture this, you walk in, it's Monday morning and the cloud bill jumped from 5K to 50K over the weekend. A job that ran fine on small data blew up at scale. The engineer who can fix or better yet prevent this is the one that gets promoted. What is Big O? Big O is a report card for how your code scales as your data grows. There's four different sections here. O1, this is constant time, like grabbing a book off your desk. O, log in. This slows slightly as the data grows, like flipping through a phone book. ON, double the data, double the time. And we have ON squared, which is double the data, four times the time. Like inviting twice as many people to dinner, but cooking four times the amount of food. This is where budgets and careers go to die. Here's this chart. It shows the data size on the x-axis and runtime and cost on the y-axis. So we see as runtime goes up, so does cost. They go hand in hand with each other. And we see for each of these types of big O notation, how each of those impact the cost. And we see that ON and ON squared have steep cost curves as we scale up with data. Here's a nested loop disaster. Take a look at this code. For every customer, you scan the orders table. So when we have 10,000 customers times 100,000 orders, we have 1 billion operations going on here. Here's an example of a refactored code that really helps to lower the cost of that same query and you get the same results. So same result, 10,000 times faster. Here we see our chart showing the runtime drop from 60 minutes to five minutes and our costs drop from $180 to $15 for running the same query, basically. Senior engineers think in joins, not loops. Here is a money pit and a personal story that I ran into. I had the Snowflake query taking eight hours every night on a large cluster. A single query was costing us thousands every month. It was full of nested subqueries, inline subqueries, I ended up rewriting it using some window functions and simplified joins. The result, the runtime dropped to 15 minutes. The marketing team got near real-time reporting instead of having to wait half a day. That's what I call a double whammy. There was two business impacts. Not only did I reduce the cost of getting the data, but I increased the frequency that our marketing team needed in order to make decisions on the marketing data being received. Here's an example of a bad SQL query that really causes that n squared notation. Alternatively, here is a better example. Here we see that on the chart, our runtime dropped from eight hours to 15 minutes for the better query. And so our cost drop went from $900 a night to $30 a night. This is what gets you in the room with leadership. One more example. Here is a budget killer, this data frame disaster. This one is Python and not SQL. Here we're looking at a loop. We're a nested loop too. We have a four user and users, and then we have the four event and all events. Each of the user events are being processed. Here is a better way to write that. Here we're setting our events by user, and then we are just looping through once. We're looping through with the user ID and the user event all at the same time. You group once, process once, and that is a huge savings. So 
Here's the chart that shows the runtime drop from 40 minutes to three minutes. And our cost for that compute dropped from $120 to $9. This is scale ready thinking. This is what you need to do to impress upon your leaders that you are ready for that next career jump. So one client, 1 million customers, 10 million transactions. That N squared notation, daily ETL on a extra, extra large snowflake cluster. That's $2,400 a day, $72,000 a month, $864,000 a year. That's the cost of two to three data engineers. We rewrote it as just N notation and we got down to $240 a day and it was 90% cheaper. Runtime dropped from eight hours to 45 minutes. That is how you impress your leadership. Here is your action plan. Audit your pipelines, find loops, correlated subqueries, table scans. Think joins, not loops. SQL joins, pandas group by, spark aggregations. Pick the right data structures, hash maps, indexes. Test at scale, simulate production data. Then monitor and measure, track runtime and money before and after the refactor. Promotions go to engineers who deliver business impact. When you can say, I cut monthly compute costs by 70%, you're not just coding. You're proving that you think like a senior and a staff engineer. This is the difference between staying mid-level and getting that senior title. One of the biggest mistakes that you're making is probably hiding in your code right now, quietly draining your budget and hurting your promotion chances. If you want to know which one it is, watch this video about the top 10 Databricks mistakes that is costing you that promotion.